The federal government's shortchanging states millions of dollars when it comes to funding special education. Now, earlier in our show, we brought you the story from D.C., but we are taking a look now at how it impacts us on the local level. And Fox Carolina's Grace Runkel is live in studio with one family's story. Grace. Well, back in the 70s, the federal government promised to pay up to 40% of the cost to educate students with special needs, but they haven't made good on that promise. Last year, for example, they only funded 13% of that cost. We spoke with one mom who says it's time for lawmakers to make students like her son a priority. Fully funding idea is vital. I mean, it's, it's a crisis without it. Danny Bloom knows firsthand how dire the situation is when it comes to funding special education. Because I have a son with autism. Christian is now 24 years old and serves as his mom's right hand man in her home office. Fighting for full funding is Bloom's full time job. She's the director of policy and outreach at ARC South Carolina, a group that advocates for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We're writing letters, we're in, in, um, engaging in legal advocacy. South Carolina should get about $600 million for its 100,000 IDEA eligible students, but in reality, it gets just over $200 million, leaving a $400 million gap. That's $4,000 per student that we're lacking in funding. And so when that happens, schools are working to cover the difference by cutting programs, programs that affect children with disabilities and children without disabilities. For the Bloom family, that meant battling with schools for resources. We needed to have a, a special aid for him and the schools were not funded well enough to be able to provide that. Last year, an annual survey found 162 special education teacher vacancies with more expected. It's difficult for us to recruit and retain teachers. Bloom says better funded programs could help. Her message is clear. Start prioritizing our children, children with special needs. We need Congress to actually follow through with funding at the level that they promised. Make Senators have introduced legislation in Washington to gradually work up to fully funding over the next decade, and Bloom tells us she's hopeful it will get passed, but that's not slowing down her work in the meantime.